Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with Indiegoogle, and a user suggested that I should also do health bars. So, what we're going to be doing today is making health bars and a little uh, graphic to tell the you the player how many lives he will have, or he has. So, let's open up the sprites here and create a new one. And we'll create a new canvas, uh, say 16 by 16. And we'll just be creating a heart for this. Okay, now let's just clean this up a little bit. Now, fill it with red. Okay, now let's just click this and click these scissors. It'll cut it. Uh, it's going to get rid of the sub image if you've never used this before, but don't worry, it cuts it and uh, basically copies the sprite, so you can get it back just by pasting it. Now we'll create a new canvas, which is uh, 48 by 16. And we'll just zoom in here and paste. I'm using a hotkey, CTRL plus V, if you didn't know that. And copy and paste and zoom in. And CTRL V again. Drag that over. And one more time. Okay. Now you can see that we have three sub images of a heart hearts filling up you'll see exactly what this is going to be used for if you don't already know it's pretty obvious though but it has to be done in this order it has to start with one heart then two then three and you can actually use as many hearts as you want like if the maximum for lives is only going to be like five you can create as many sub images as you need to get those five hearts so we'll just name this now I'll name it just SPR underscore lives. Now, let's uh, go into this object text here. And we're just going to completely erase all of this. Okay, so this looks a little uh, intimidating, I know, because there's a lot of stuff here. But I will explain all of it to you. The draw health bar is the actual command for it. Then we have to use two uh, parentheses to um, determine all of the parameters to it. So you'll notice that I have an x plus zero, y plus zero, x plus 100 and y plus plus 16 so basically this x plus 0 and y plus 0 is telling GameMaker where to draw the uh, health bar to so you can actually just leave out x and y and then draw it to a certain part of the room but I want this to be drawn uh, drawn to the exact position of the object so I'll just use x plus 0 by y plus 0 now this x plus 100 and y plus is 16 that is telling how long and um, tall the health bar is I like 100 by 16 you can play around with it see exactly what you like this global.hp that's the global variable that we set up in an earlier tutorial to tell the uh, tell GameMaker how much health you have you have to set this part to your health variable or else it won't know how much health to put in the health bar so we'll just use global.hp the C red is for the background color when the top part of the health bar starts draining out you'll see red this C green is for the minimum color that's going to be 
what color the health bar is when you're running low on health. C lime is the right opposite. It's going to be the color that the health bar is when you have uh, high to full health. This zero here is the direction. If you set it to zero, it anchors the health bar to the left, which means it drains from the right. If you uh, set it to one, then it anchors it to the right, which means it drains from the left. And I'm not exactly sure which uh, way it drains from with uh, two and three. You can just play around and uh, find out, you know. So we're just going to leave this at zero. And one right here is the show background. The background is this C red here. If we set this to a zero, then you wouldn't see any red. So I'll just leave that one. And this is uh, the show border. If we set this to zero, there wouldn't be a border around the health bar. And I like it better with the border. And that's all there is to this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Well, not really self-explanatory, but you know, it's easy to remember. Plus, if you are coding, sometimes it'll show up right down here to tell you what parameter you're at. So let's just skip down another line and we'll add in an instance create. And I haven't created this object yet, but I know what I'm going to call it. So we'll just put obj underscore lives and click uh, put a semicolon there. Now let's get out of this and this and create a new object. And we'll use those hearts that we created earlier. And name it obj underscore lives. <clears throat> now go into the create event and add in some code. We don't want it animated, so we'll just set image speed to zero when it's created. And in the step event, we want it to update when you lose a life or gain one. So we'll type this. So what this does is it sets the sprite and the sub image. The sprite is SPR lives. The global dot lives here, it's to basically there's three sub images in the sprite. There's a sub image with one heart, two hearts, and three hearts. So if you have three lives, we want it to show the third sub image with all three hearts there. But the thing is, Game Maker's Sprite Editor, the sub images start counting from zero. So we have to add a minus one here, or else it's just going to show one heart. And this zero here, it's uh, the animation speed, I think. We don't want that to be anything because we've already set up image speed, so we'll just keep that zero. Okay, now let's click OK and test the game. <laughs> it's taking an unusually long amount of time, this song. But here we are. Now I see I've made a mistake. But I'll go on ahead and test it out here. So the health bar depletes when you get hit. And it starts turning to a green color. Let's die real quick. And the heart, one of the hearts disappeared. So let's get out of this. And I won't test it again because this is a simple fix, but uh, let's go into object text here and the draw. The reason that the hearts are on top of the health bar is because I accidentally put Y plus zero. You want that to be Y plus 16. 
So, actually, no, we don't want it to be that. We want it to be y plus 32. Since the health bar is 16 pixels tall, we're going to have to move this uh, down another 16 pixels. So, click OK on that. And go on ahead and save your game. Now, I um, hope that was helpful. And I've got a few more suggestions. Uh, so, I will be making those. So, please comment, rate, and uh, subscribe. And if you have any suggestions of what you want to see, let me know and I'll get right on it. So, hope you hope to see you next time.